most of the women that we see, whether it's here, whether it's at Parkland, uh, when they're diagnosed, they have this concept from the community uh, that you're going to die, that it's a fatal disease, and that's all they've heard. That's all they've heard. So at the point of diagnosis, that is what comes up for them, is death. Uh, if they have children, if they're pregnant or if they're raising children, their question to me is, will I be able to raise my children? Uh, I want to be alive long enough to raise my children. Uh, and that is their greatest fear, not being sick, but will I be alive to raise my children? Uh, and if we go back and start with the pregnant woman, her concern is two, will I be alive to raise my children and will my child be infected because I'm infected? And the answer to that is probably not. We only have about a 99, I mean, in Dallas, about a 1% of transmission from mother to child. 99% of all of our babies born at Parkland are not infected, are not infected. And we can say that, and we can say that, and we have to continually say that to the mother. If you do what we ask you to do, if you take the medication, uh, then you, you should be fine. We don't make guarantees because only God can do that. And I say it again here or wherever I am called. Um, there are no guarantees, but the medications are available. Uh, if you do what your medical team asks you to do, uh, if you take care of yourself, if, you, if you're using alcohol, decrease using alcohol. Any negative behaviors that would put stress on your immune system, because we want to keep the virus under control and we want the immune system to be strong. Uh, and then I will tell them, I work with women who've been infected 23 years, 25 years, and these women are still here. There's really a difference between what it was like 20-some years ago and what it is now. You look good, you, you know, no one can tell by looking at you. If you walked into a room, if you walked into McDonald's, you would not know that there are people there who are HIV infected. So yes, there is hope. And I don't, I don't say that um, out of, of guessing. I say that because I know what I'm talking about. I know what it was like when we only had AZT. I know what that was like. And I know the number of women I helped bury. And I don't see that. That has not happened for a long time. Why don't you do that uh, sound clip?